Béarnais means coming from the region of Béarn, which is in southwest of France. Accidentally, that is the region where I was born. So I'm very proud to introduce you to that sauce. It is a hot emulsified sauce similar to Hollandaise. What makes it different is the use of tarragon. It goes very well with grilled meat or fish. Today, we are going to use it and serve it with a New York steak. New York steak is the cut of meat that comes from the most tender section of the beef, the short loin. The short loin is the anterior, front portion of the beef loin. It is located just behind the rib. Depending on where you live, it might be called New York strip steak, shell steak, Delmonico steak, Kansas City steak, sirloin club steak, or strip steak. But today, we will call it New York steak. To make the grilled New York steak Béarnais sauce, you will need to make the gastric of the sauce, you will need white wine vinegar, white wine, finely chopped shallot, finely chopped tarragon, peppercorn. To grill the steak, seasoning, vegetable oil, and steaks, New York steaks. And for the sabayon of the sauce, egg yolk, clarified butter, chopped parsley, and fresh tarragon. And to season the sauce, you will need salt, pepper, cayenne pepper. In a saucepan, place the white wine vinegar and the white wine. Add the finely chopped shallots, the tarragon. Crack the peppercorns into mignonette. Mignonette, it's the culinary term that describes freshly cracked peppercorns. So it's easy. Get a pot with a flat bottom and crack the peppercorns. This is a situation where you don't want to use a paper mill for two reasons. The first one, it will take a long time to grind this quantity of paper. And the second, you want a coarsely ground peppercorns like this. This is what we call mignonette peppercorns, and the aromatic flavors are amazing. Add the mignonette peppercorn to the pot. Take the saucepan to the stove. Over high heat, bring it to a boil. Our gastric is boiling. You want to let it boil until all the liquid has evaporated. And you don't want to be too close to the pot because it's very acidic. It will make you sneeze. Also, we call it gastric in reference of the acidity of the vinegar and the wine reduction. There's almost no more liquid. Good. Turn it off. There is just like a what, a small half teaspoon of liquid on the bottom, but the shallots and the ingredients will suck it up. Remove the saucepan from the heat and allow the gas rig to cool down. Béarnais sauce is a hot emulsified sauce, so it's not a sauce that you're going to make way in advance and keep it for a long time. Usually, in the food industry, we make hot emulsified sauces such as the Béarnais just before the service time, lunch or dinner. Make sure if you are going to use a meat and you're going to grill it, to pre-edit your grill before doing the sauce. So here I have my grill that is pre right now. I place a bain-marie on a stove in order to put my bowl. I have an electric whisk because I don't want to suffer. We can use technology. And I'm going to place the clarified butter in a saucepan on low heat just to pre it. So you want to warm up the clarified butter, but you don't want to have it too hot. Break the egg. Separate the yolk from the white. Place the yolk in a large bowl. Discard the shells. So pass the yolk from one shell to the other. And here I'm using the side of the shell as a cutter to cut the white little trick. Then 
add the water to the yolks. So two tablespoons for free egg yolks. One, two, there we go. Add the cool gastric in the bowl with the egg yolks. As you can see, there's no more moisture. Mix. And take the bowl to the bain-marie to make the sabayon. Place the bowl over the simmering water of the bain-marie, making sure that the bottom of the bowl does not touch the boiling water or the simmering water. Then, with an electric whisk or whisk, make an emulsion. Here my whisk is on medium high speed and my water is simmering. So the water is simmering. I'm going to stop a second. And when you do your Béarnais or any hot emulsified sauce, you want to make sure that the bowl underneath is not too hot for your fingers. If it's too hot for your finger when you touch, if you burn yourself, it's too hot for the egg yolks, which means you will have to whisk vigorously to cool it down before going back to the heat. We are going to whisk the sabayon until it thickens and becomes ribbony, like the ribbon stage. You really want to have your sabayon very thick before adding the clarified butter or the sauce may split up, meaning it will become runny again. If you want to speed up the process of making a hot emulsified sauce, you may place the sabayon into a stainless steel bowl and go directly over the flame. Okay, this is done. As you can see, the sabayon is pretty thick. You see? So now we are going to add the clarified butter of the heat to the thick sabayon. Pour slowly the warm clarified butter, a little bit like if you were doing a mayonnaise. Taste the sauce. Mm. Nice flavor, but a little bit blend in salt and pepper. So season well with salt. A little bit of pepper, a little bit more. Bayarnet is full of flavor. And a pinch of cayenne pepper. Then whisk together. Add the parsley. Separate the leaves from the stem. Maybe I keep that one to garnish. And finally chop the leaves. Add the chopped tarragon to the Béarnais sauce. Classic recipe also includes chopped chervil at the end, but it's very rare to find in my area, so no chervil. Keep the sauce close to the stove, but not on the hot place, and let's prepare the meat. Season the steak with salt and pepper. Brush with vegetable oil. Mm. 
Then turn the stakes, season the other side. Brush also the other side. And take the stakes to the grill. With an old clean rag, get a little bit of vegetable oil and grease the grill. With a tongue, place the steak on the grill and cook for about a minute on each side. So one minute like this, then cross, one minute like that, then we're going to flip and so on. To cook the steak, you may like that rare, blue rare, medium rare, medium, medium well, or well done. Well, at home, get your hand like this. Make a circle with your thumb and index finger, right? And then with the other hand, squeeze this. I will call that part the drumstick of the thumb. And squeeze. So this will be rare. So if I touch my meat, this is rare. It, it feels the same. So I'm going to turn my meat here, cross-wide. So, rare. Then we go to the finger, to the next finger. I'm not showing the finger, I'm showing you medium rare. Okay, so we go to the next one. Oh, it's a bit harder here, it feels harder. Then we go to the next one, medium. I repeat, rare, medium rare. Medium, oh, it's a little bit harder. Then we go to the next one, medium well. Oh yeah, you feel that? It's tougher, right? It's not 100% accurate, but it's very accurate, about 95%. So the meat will react the same way when it cooks. So here I'm going to flip. I like my meat rare, so I won't cook it too much. Nice. Flip again. Remove the steak from the grill. When the steaks are cooked, you don't want to place them on the original plate because here we had raw meat and if we put it back, that will be cross-contamination, which is a very bad thing, okay? So always put the cooked meat on a clean plate and do not cross with raw meat. Plate, so place the steak on a large plate, the fat away from you. I made some fries, so if you want to put a few, Add the sauce, add fresh tarragon, maybe here. Grill New York steak, béarnaise sauce, bon appétit.